you're thinking about moving to Lake Forest, California, in this video, I'm going to cover the pros and the cons of living right here in Lake Forest, California. Starting off with a pro, Lake Forest is a prime location in Southern California. If you're looking for proximity and convenience, this is the place. You know, you're located right next to the 5 and the 405 freeway where they intersect. Just a couple exits before, this. these two freeways will take you along the coast and, and more towards the center part of, you know, through Northern California and, and beyond. You, you know, you also have the, the Amtrak station located right off of Barranca Parkway in Irvine. You have John Wayne Airport located 20, 30 minutes away for those of you looking to travel. You know, the closest beach, I would say, probably Laguna Beach, only about 25 minutes away. You're literally one to two exits away from the Irvine Spectrum, which is a huge outdoor shopping complex. You know, tons of great restaurants, entertainment stuff like Dave & Buster's, you know, movie theater. All, like I said, just a couple exits away. Can't forget the happiest place on earth, Disneyland, just about 30 minutes away. You know, you can make day trips to, to LA and San Diego within an hour or two. I say that because the traffic is really gonna depend. Uh, you know, you, you like going to the mountains, if, if you like snowboarding and skiing, Big Bear Mountains, another only a couple hours away. You can go to the desert, for those of you who like, uh, you know, like dirt bike riding, ATVs, stuff like that. You got the, the Colorado River, you know, maybe four or five hours away. Take your jet skis, your speed boats out there. You know, there's tons of stuff to do in, in Southern California. You could go to wine country in Temecula. A lot of people like to do some wine tasting, stuff like that. Go see the vineyards. I mean, literally, there's, there's countless things you can do in Lake Forest. In Southern California in general, you know, you, you can really do a new activity every day. And, and not repeat that same activity ever again. The next pro I wanna cover with you is gonna be the weather, which is great. Here in Lake Forest, you know, we have, and in Southern California in general, we really are a little bit spoiled and, and you know, we start to get used to these sunny, nice sunny days, 70 degrees. Um, during the summertime, you know, you could expect 80, 90 degrees. Definitely a little bit better than, than most areas in the country. So if you're trying to beat the heat, you know, Lake Forest is going to be a good place to consider. Maybe not as as many as much of a breeze, you know, than than some of the beach communities. Depending on what you're used to, you know, summertime can, you know, it, it's not necessarily as bad as, as most areas. Probably going to need to run your AC. I mean, it does get pretty warm, right? I'd be lying if I said it doesn't. Um, you know, during the winter time, not going to go much below 40, 50 degrees. You know, it doesn't snow here in in Lake Forest. Southern California, we, we are dealing with a drought, so it, it doesn't rain much here. Uh, according to bestplaces.net, you get about 14 inches of, of rain on average per year uh, here in Orange County. Uh, on the bright side, you know, we do have, on the bright side, literally more sunny days than, than the national average. You're looking at about 205 days uh, here in Lake Forest. We're looking at about 278 sunny days during the year. Um, and, and again, you know, with with the with the tons of different eucalyptus trees, syc sycamore trees you have through the area, brings a lot of shade, um, which 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 is nice to kind of cool down a little bit. But overall, weather's great. The next pro I want to talk about is the Lake Forest Sports Park. This is a good one. I really like the sports park there. You know, it's about 86 acres. It's pretty new. I want to say it's only about five, seven years old or so. Um, you know, tons of different youth and adult sports leagues, basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, uh, lacrosse, soccer, you, you name it, everything's there. Um, I even was a part of a, a men's league, me and some of the, uh, the old high school buddies from, from uh, the team, we all joined up playing, playing some, some in, a, in a men's league tournament. Um, and, uh, you know, you can catch me there every once in a while in the outdoor courts, souping it up. So... If you think you got what it takes, you know, you can, you can play some one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but yeah, lo love this place. You know, ton, there's there's a whole gymnasium. They have, you know, soccer field, baseball diamonds, um, and, and even playgrounds and stuff. I know, uh, you know, a lot of people will, you know, if you have younger kids and a kid who maybe he's going to soccer practice, you could bring your other kids and, and take them to the playground and not have to, you know, drive back and forth or, or all that. Make a, make a good little couple hours out of it see a lot of people doing that and I think it's a uh, sports park is uh it's pet friendly so I've seen people bring their dogs and stuff and I found that 
you can't bring the dogs to or, or any other pets um, to the like the synthetic turf fields, soccer fields and stuff like that, which is understandable, I guess. Um, but also on, on Wednesdays, I've noticed when I had some men's league game there, um, I noticed they have a farmer's market there which would make the whole parking lot really hectic and, and it would be hard to find parking. But want to check it out. I've, I've walked through there a couple of times. Pretty cool. Lots of little different pop-up shops and stuff like that. But overall, yeah, lo love the, the Lake Forest Sports Park. Pretty, pretty cool place. So here's a con about living in Lake Forest, California. You know, you may be living far away from the freeway. Uh, you know, may need, may need to pay for a toll road. So as you can see, the kind of the shape of of Lake Forest here. You know, it's a bit long and narrow, uh, more towards the northeast side. You know, some of the newer neighborhoods you have a part of Lake Forest, like uh, Foothill Ranch, uh, Baker Ranch, Portola Hills. Um, you know, you kind of see they're, they're, they're a good 15 minutes or so away from the five freeway, uh, but the 241 toll road does run right through it. And then that'll take you through, bring you into Irvine and then more of the, um, the more business centers of, of Orange County and then even out towards Riverside as well, depending on where you're working. So, you know, it, it just depends which, again, which part of Lake Forest you live in you may want to factor that into your cost of living that you may be paying for toll roads on a, on a regular basis. It, it all kind of ends up being the same if, if you're spending 15 minutes going towards the five, you know, time is money kind of thing. So definitely want to factor that in. So the next pro is going to be there's a ton of different industrial or commercial facilities within Lake Forest, you know, all kinds of different developments, you know, to meet the needs of, of different types of businesses. And there's tons of different businesses that are stationed here in Lake Forest, wide variety. You got companies like Tilly's, Lone Depot, Oakley, uh, Del Tacos, corporate offices, um, Wet Seal, Apria Healthcare, you know, L Lake Forest is, <clears throat> similar in a way to Irvine, you know, obviously Irvine is, is the business central, um, but their Lake Forest in a way is, is, is a little bit similar, have kind of similar stru structure of housing as well, a little bit of even newer developments in the area and, and a lot of different business centers. And, and one thing that I want to point out is, you know, it has all these similar values, but it, it is a, a lower price point to move into Lake Forest. So if, if Irvine is something that you're, you're interested in or, you know, Lake Forest may be a good place to consider. Now, considering the lower price range, you know, lower monthly payments. Um, but overall, you know, Lake Forest is really a great city that, that kind of encourages, you know, business, entrepreneurship. So the next pro is gonna be the diverse style of housing that's available here in Lake Forest. You know, starting off with, with more around the five freeway, more of the original part of, of Lake Forest, it used to be referred to as El Toro. The El Toro Marine Base uh, around the 60s had a lot of activity and, and uh, a lot of homes were built around in that area. Again, really, really diverse type of homes. Uh, I mean, you have everything from, from you know, some lakefront homes to, to mobile home parks, you know, kind of luxury condos and townhomes and, and single family homes throughout the whole, the whole area of Lake Forest. You also have you know, some, some newer developments as well within Lake Forest uh, and, and some brand new construction. Uh, you know, places like, like Portola Hills, uh, Foothill Ranch, Baker Ranch, a lot of these, uh, a lot of more newer construction available, which in Orange County is, is not always easy to find. So if you're looking for, you know, brand new construction, you know, communities like, like Serrano Summit and, and the Meadows, there's tons of new, new developments there brand new construction uh, you could definitely check out if if you obviously are interested in something like that love to help you out uh, one thing a lot of people kind of misunderstand about buying buying new new homes um you, you know they, they tend to go directly to the builder and, and without representation it's very important that you have an agent who, who has your best interest in mind it's important to know that when you're when you're looking at buying a new newly constructed home the, the agent available there or the sales rep available there is in, in the best interest of the builder. So it's very important that you have someone with your interest in mind too. So overall, tons of different diverse types of, of homes available in Lake Forest, pockets of, of new construction, newer, newer builds and stuff like that. Definitely consider Lake Forest.
But the next con I want to talk about is going to be the Melarus bond that you may be paying when you're living in Lake Forest. A lot of times when there's newer construction, um, you, you may be paying this type of additional, it's basically an additional property tax. Um, if there's new schools being built, stuff like that. And, and you know, it, it's, it's pretty easy to, to, to calculate, not, not hard at all. So if, if, you, if you're looking at a particular home and want to know if that home has the Malarus bond, then just reach out to me. Love to help you calculate that and, and, and put that in your budget. This next one's going to be a pro or a con. You know, Lake Forest, believe it or not, has a ton of trees in the area. Uh, so how it all started, early 1900s, uh, a guy named Dwight Whiting had planted nearly 400 different eucalyptus trees that just took over and, and grew everywhere in the area. Uh, there you also have some, some other like uh, sycamore trees and, and some other ones as well, kind of blanking on the name. But th that's what's cool about Lake Forest. It, it has this unique kind of landscape to it, you know, its own personality isn't really like other areas, you know, its surrounding areas don't necessarily have nearly as many trees. The negative side of that, these trees are very tall and sometimes they can fall. Oh boy, didn't mean to do that. But you know, if, if, that, if that kind of thing happens, you know, the HOAs will help you remove from time to time. It depends if, it, if it's coming from, from your property, falling into the street or, or whatnot. Definitely can get you some more information if, if that's a concern of yours. Um, but overall, the, the trees are pretty cool, I think, in, in Lake Forest. It really gives a nice shade and stuff, too. So the next pro about living in Lake Forest is going to be there's tons of parks and, and outdoor activities in the area. You have you know, nearly 30 different parks and open spaces in, throughout Lake Forest. And, and you even have the Serrano Creek Equestrian Center. For those of you with horses, you can you can have your horses at some stables there. And then you also have the Lake Forest Golf Center, which is a great place to you know practice on your golf game. They also have you know a nine-hole executive course there. They have nearly 60 different stalls. So it's like a double-deck stall um, for for the golfing range, which which is pretty cool. They have a huge putting green there as well and in and, and like five different kind of chipping games as well i i know um i i'm not my golf game's not too good i'm I've just started to get into it so i i can't play uh, any any courses yet uh, but i got buddies who are pretty good and they they love going over there the lake forest one and some of the other ones in the area as well but uh a lot of different you know you even have training lessons there for for your newbies out there like me i honestly i'm I do plan on booking a training session. So maybe, uh, you know, if you guys want to come move to Lake Forest, we can get some, some golfing going. Maybe I could ball you up. You know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And then depending on which HOA you're a part of in Lake Forest, you'll have access to, there's two different lakes within Lake Forest. Um, you know, not necessarily as big as Mission Viejo Lake. These, if anything, compared to Mission Viejo Lake, these are like massive ponds. Um, and they do have a duck pond there as well, but but anyway, so the, the, the two lakes, there's the Lake Forest Beach and Tennis Club, and then there's the Lake Forest Sun and Sail Club. I'll start off with the first one. You know, tons of, tons of different amenities. Either one, if you have access to either, it's, it's pretty sweet. You know, you have a fitness center, you know, Olympic pool, um, you have like a, like a, a kid's pool as well, uh, swimming lagoon, you got pool tables there, uh, nearly like five tennis tables I've found, or tennis courts, I should say, um, pickleball court, two half court basketball courts, a volleyball court, they even have a preschool and, and like a, a lake kind of lounge room as well with a pretty, pretty sweet view of the lake. And then you have the sun and sail club, which is more of the same kind of. I actually used to have access to there when I lived in Lake Forest for a couple years. Um, it was always a fun time. You know, you got all the pools there, basketball courts, a snack bar during the summertime there. You can go fishing there at the lake. Um, you know, they also have this, this, this uh, it's like a three level clubhouse with tons of different stuff in there. At the top, you have like an upstairs lounge that has, you know, a large TV. You got a pool table. 
and even uh, like a like a whole bar there. Uh, Friday nights, I know they're opened up, and and I, my, a buddy of mine told me that Monday nights as well. They they have uh, during football season, you could watch watch the game there Monday nights. Um, but yeah, you know the the Sun and Sail Club is a really cool place. They they even have a uh, an adult pool too on top of like a kids pool so you know for those of you without kids or maybe you the kids are being watched and you want to go have a drink at, at the pool there it's it's pretty nice both the the beach and tennis club and the sun and sail club and lake forest great places uh, again only certain hoas really have access to that if you want to to make sure that the home that you're looking at is a part of those i'd love to help you out just just reach out i can get you that info and, and and keep your criteria within that if those are important to you you know they're, they're definitely fun things to do so the next one's going to be a pro or a con you know, depending on how you look at it is going to be taxes so here in, in california we have both sales taxes and income taxes not necessarily the same in every state um, as far as sales taxes go it's about 7.25 percent however uh, here in Orange County, there are additional local taxes, so you're, you're going to be looking at, on average, about 7.75%. Uh, according to avalara.com, uh, that's that's kind of the average sales tax rate. You also have income taxes. I believe there's about nine different tax brackets here in California. You can refer to that here, you know, depending on which tax bracket you're a part of, the, the, the rates change. Uh, you also have the property tax rate which is about here in Orange County on average, about 6.69%. So let's say a home is worth a million dollars, easy number, then your property taxes would be right about $6,900 uh, annual fees. Of course, if not including, you know, Melarus taxes, any kind of local uh, additional property taxes that may be part, but yeah. When it comes to the cost of living, in, in California and Orange County, you want to factor these in when, when you're looking at your budget and, and getting you know a good idea of, of what you can afford and, and looking at your monthly payments. The next pro is going to be the safety factor of living in Lake Forest. You know, according to SafeWise.com, I found that Lake Forest is actually the 14th safest city located in in California. You know, you could definitely look more into it. I know they base it off of kind of crime. And, and property property damage um, information used from, from the FBI, stuff like that. But take a closer look. Just wanted to kind of bring this up to your attention. Next one's gonna be a pro or a con, depending on how you look at it. Said that again. Um, home values here are a bit higher than, than the national average. Uh, on, the op on the optimist side, it, it's actually a little bit of a lower price range um, compared to a lot of other communities in in Orange County, a lot of the suburban communities in Orange County. Um, so the median sales price for homes in Lake Forest during June 2022, we're looking at single family homes, a million two hundred twenty thousand was the median sales price, and then for condos and townhomes, we're looking at about six hundred twenty five thousand was the median sales price. For homes in Lake Forest. Again, if, if you're thinking about moving to Lake Forest, uh, some of its surrounding surrounding areas, you know, cities like Irvine, it is pretty similar to Irvine and it is a little bit of a lower price point. So if, if, if Irvine maybe is something you're looking at, you know, Mission Viejo, uh, Ladera Ranch, these are all areas within the vicinity and, and Lake Forest is definitely a good one to consider. So another pro is there's good schools here in Lake Forest. You have Saddleback Valley Unified School District, which the the high school would be El Toro High School. You also have Serrano Middle School and a bunch of different elementary schools within the area. One thing that's that's kind of cool about Saddleback Valley, I didn't really mention this in, in my other videos, is it's it's pretty flexible. So say your kid was really good at a sport that's better at another school or something. I don't know. Maybe they have, you know, at Mission Viejo High School, for example, they have the agriculture program, which is, is not really available, um, is not available. I don't think any schools in Orange County besides there. Uh, and if, if that's something your kid wanted to do, then, you, you know, as long as you get stay on top of it pretty quickly, you can transfer to different schools, uh, relatively easier, easy, uh, easier than, you know, places like Irvine, where it's a little bit more compact even, 
and a little bit more competitive as far as switching schools. So Saddleback, you kind of have a little more flexibility. Um, you do have great schools within the area, within the city, uh, the ones I already mentioned. Great colleges in the area, you know, living in Lake Forest, there, there's even uh, great community colleges, right? So the, right in between IVC and Saddleback College, you know, you have UCI, uh, great, great university, uh, Cal State Fullerton, Chapman University, Concordia, uh, you have Soka University, tons of great, great schools. Uh, whether for students or faculty and and you know Lake Forest is a it's a pretty quiet kind of neighborhood so it is good for for you know focusing on your studies um, and, and, and stuff like that uh, but you're not far away from from any kind of fun you know places like Irvine Newport Beach San Clemente coast you know LA San Diego it's all pretty close so you're still within the vicinity of tons of fun stuff to do all right that's it for now so hopefully you found this info valuable. Living in Lake Forest, California, definitely more pros than cons. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for notifications when my new videos come out on a weekly basis. You're gonna get one to two to three videos every week about different cities and neighborhoods within Orange County, why you should move here, all the great info. If you need any more information to kind of make your move a little bit smoother and, and, and to just find out more about the area, feel free to reach out. Again, you can call me, text me, email, we can get on a Zoom, whatever works best for you. You know, we, we can get to know each other a little bit better. Once I'm able to find out really what you're looking for, I will be able to get you into any home that you want. Again, thanks for watching.